Rotate. Oh! Ooh! What the heck is this? Guys, here we go. Finally, we are back with this amazing game. This was hands down my favorite game from last year. Okay, maybe Dark Souls was also very nice, but come on. Your safe file was corrupted! <laughs> well, there is a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Certain parts of Ecos of the Eye can be intense for some players if they become an obstacle to your <laughs> enjoyment of Outer Wilds. A reduced frights uh, option is available in the gameplay menu, guys. Like, I'm already. Uh oh, oh. What is gonna happen? Okay, let's go. Oh, the music also is amazing. <gasps> wow. How you doing? Talk to us later. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, you see. So it's launch day, huh? Anyway, you need to get the, the launch codes from Orangefell at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Let's go. So basically, in, in the main game, there was nothing really too scary. There was like one part which is kind of like... Uh, hey, it gives you the, 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 the jeevers. It's giver jeevers. Oh my god, the memories! The memories! Wow! Okay, this is the Zero G cave. But this is not where we... Ah, the, the observatory is the other way! Ah! I am surely but really. There you are! I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modification to your ship. Eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Let's go. This is new. Uh, it says new exhibit. <laughs> the radio tower here on Timber Hearth uh, was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. Uh, and to this day still houses the first ever photos uh, taken off the entire solar system. These photos were made uh, possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit. Uh, deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system this is definitely new we don't i don't recall uh, yeah there was nothing like this thanks to a recent upgrade the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts <gasps> wow amazing amazing oh i forgot about this What? Let's go. Tour up before we forget. Okay, did anything change? Hollow's lantern, em Ember Twin, Ash Twin. Okay. Everything is the same. Time to buckle up and go. So, uh, there we go. So, this map. Uh, aha! Okay, yeah, definitely this is new. Okay, yeah, this new circular orbit here is new. Can we go here immediately? I want to go here immediately, guys. Let's go. I don't remember how to drive this thing but we can manage autopilot no dug a bit abort autopilot <laughs> what he was trying to kill us already dude he didn't even get out of uh, the atmosphere and they already trying to kill us disgusting so there are two sheep uh, logs that are important to get before you get too far into the dlc so just don't forget that okay so maybe we don't want to go there right now do we want to get some information first um let's just go to headlights off hey what let's go to giants deep in it wow but the autopilot is broken it's so bad what the hell i remember also another thing about this let me see if I can figure out which one it is. Oh, there you go. I found it. No, don't get up. Do we need the ship? I don't remember. Ah, Uh oh. I don't think we, we had to use this, to be honest.
Ah, yeah, we were not supposed to. <laughs> so basically what I did here was uh, I got into the only tornado that was rotating differently. Because that was the one that would uh, get you in, into the core. Now I'm using this jelly fish uh, to get into the core because it's uh, resistant to electricity. Are we there yet? Are we though? I'm not sure. We might die. Ah, uh, yeah, this place was here. Well, I, I remember so little about this game. Wee! Let's go! Dang, now I remember! I remember this moment! We're like, oh! We're trying to fight the Eye of the Universe! Is it called Eye of the Universe? We were like, that's why they, they're like shooting the... Oh, they found it. That's why they're shooting the Eye of the Universe. Yeah, do you remember the first time that we were like here, we were like, wait a second. Okay, that is the, the, the probe that they're launching. <gasps> they're launching so many. Wait, why are they launching so many? <gasps> it's because they want to find the eye of the universe. It was so cool. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. Ship log updated. Let's go. Okay, this is Gabra. Uh-oh. No, everything is about to explode. Let me get to Gabra. Let me go to Gabro! Oh, there they are! There we go. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solar launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, hey, don't laugh, but I think I might have uh, some kind I've had some kind of spiritual experience with a rock shaped like a face. Uh, <gasps> okay! So, the other one is Gabro, now I remember. Out uh, here and gotten confused. Uh. Then we talked about the dream until uh, Orsfeld uh, told me to go refill my oxygen tank before I talked to myself to death, so that's why he knew to me, but hey, this is our. I was too slow, dude. Ah! But it was a nice uh, trip uh, down memory lane. Oh! You forgot, Skull, to use the... Jojo's Bizarre Adventure to be continued. Okay, so we're going on the only comet here. Okay, so basically this is interesting. You see? It's cracking. The, the surface is melting because the... we're getting closer to the sun, right? So now we can get into the interloper, the comet. Okay, there we go. The first time that we got there, we were like, what? How do we get in there? I was like, hmm. The orbit passes very close to the sun. So maybe this will melt. And that was what happened. This scout launcher can tell us if there is any dark uh, matter. What is it? Ghost matter, he says. So we can launch it. Okay. Okay, we are safe to go in here. Go, 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 go. Okay, we are safe to go in here. Then let's go in here. So, we saw that the, there were no... Uh, oh, there were no weird particles in there. No. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button! I am still not used to it. I was pressing down instead of up. Oh my god! Nah, okay, let's just go to Brittle Hollow. Never mind. No, 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 no. <gasps> the autopilot has tried to kill me twice already, and it's been like what? 30 minutes that we have been playing. Okay, look at this landing. It will be perfect! No, wasn't that perfect? Emergency escape hatch. Boom! Exploded. I will just try to to get as much from the log as possible. Because I feel like to play the DLC you will need that information, right? We have to do this path first because it's gonna collapse. Go, 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 go. Before it collapses. I remember I did this the first time when half of the ceiling was already collapsed. So you see, there is a black hole inside this planet. And this planet is called Brittle Hollow because, guess what? Pieces of a fuck sh Pieces of the planet start uh, crumbling towards the black hole during the time loop. So basically, the most important thing about this game is that you're stuck in a time loop of about 20 minutes. Uh, at the end of which the sun explodes and you restart the next time loop. Ship log updated, okay. I don't remember which one is the old settlement, to be honest. Is there anything important here? Nothing here. I'm looking underneath the, 
I've, I've been playing too much Fortnite. I'm looking under the stairs to see if there's any ammo boxes. <laughs> I was like, wait, there must be some ammo boxes here. I was like, wait a second. Ah, I've been playing too much, stupid Fortnite. I should stop. Oh, no! No, I didn't want to do that. And now I cannot go back, can I? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Ah, disgusting. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Dog, palle. Ah, the vessel was their spaceship, right? So they were like, oh, we found uh, a signal from the Eye of the Universe. This is the symbol of the Eye of the Universe. And they were like, let's go. And then Dark Bramble, which is a planet that we haven't uh, um, explored uh, just yet today, trapped them. And then they... they Ah, and then they launched uh, their probes uh, into three different places. One got stuck in Dark Bramble. One arrived uh, in the uh, Hourglass Twins. Uh, and this one went uh, to Britain Hollow. Yeah, Let's go to the Interloper, I guess. Interloper, where are you, Interloper? There you go. Interloper. It's time for you. No, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Okay, let's try not to die like we did before. I think this is the wrong place because here we cannot go. You see the the aura that there is? That one tells you that you cannot go there. Well, then let's go up here. There is uh, another tunnel. Yes, I think you have to catch it on the right. If I remember correctly, it's this way. Yes, to the right and then to the left. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here is right. Ooh. Ooh. That was close. Okay, then... Up there, I think. Nice. Kind of funny how there is no gravity in the center. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the, the source of the energy readings, so not rather. The source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. Now I remember what the interloper was about. So the interloper is the comet that brought the ghost matter into the solar system. And as you can see here, it's, it's like the core burst and uh, it... Uh, it basically spread all of the ghost matter around uh, the solar system. If you saw before when we were in the brittle hollow planet, the one that keeps scrambling, there were also uh, ghost uh, matter particles laying around. Yeah, what we don't want to do now is we want to get to this. Uh... So now we are here. Oh, the music. Orko! The silence cartographer achievement unlocked. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was much bigger. I was like, uh, like it suddenly became so big and it was, whoa, okay, so it's like a very, very small uh, satellite. Well, we got an achievement, so it was worth it. And now it's broken, yeah, and we have to do it again. Dag nabbit. Ah, the map is offline because the satellite has exploded. Well, literally, this is the only thing that is different. So far, and exhibition of the museum. So if this one doesn't hold any information, I really don't know what the hell to do. Deep space satellite frequency discovered. Deep space radio. Gabro here checking in on the deep space satellite per ground controls request to check out a possible equipment problem. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. Hmm, what did they see then? To believe that there was a malfunction. Okay, so that is the degrees. Uh, uh, probably with respect to Earth. Team, uh, sorry, the Sun, actually. Also, there's no Earth. Outer Wilds Ventures. And uh, interesting is what Noy says when he's thinking, this is dumb, I don't get it. <laughs> we know that this game puts things in the game, like, puts things... Uh, that are always kind of necessary. We can go talk to Gabro, so maybe that uh, he can tell us uh, what he saw that was not working well. No, what are you doing? This is not the radio. Oh, maybe there's some other stuff with the radio. 
Deep space. <gasps> there is another thing. Oh, it picks up another signal. That is interesting. Maybe we can find uh, the place where it sends all the information to. You see, that is unknown. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, we have a lead. Ah, it's on Timber Earth. <laughs> what? Is it really? Ah, here's the station. Ah, this is new. No, no, this is new. This is new. Okay. I had a feeling that it was going to be close by. Because I was like, it could... It's probably the place where the signal is being sent to, right? It's been two days since the launch of the D-Space satellite. And I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show that uh, on this historic day, Outer Worlds Ventures has... Uh, ah, they're printing, they're printing. Here they come. Doesn't uh, Timber Hearth look tiny from... Uh, hold on. What is that? That can be right. I was gonna say, you're gonna have to look at these three pictures and try to find the, find the difference and find something that is like an anomaly. What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the other photos, just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Okay, so now we know what it is. And it shows you the angle of the satellite. It has to be, right? Here I don't see anything. It has to be here. Oh! Is that it? Wait a minute! That is Timber Hearth. Uh, this is the outer rock. Okay, that is not it. Then maybe it's here. What is this? Uh, okay, then maybe it is the one at 40 degrees. But wait a second. We should have uh, interloper. Okay, no, it definitely is. Like this thing that is blocking the sun. Because this is Timber Hearth. Uh, this is the Brit Brittle Hollow. Dark Bramble. Hourglass Twins. Quantum Moon. Interloper. Uh, Giants Deep. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, satellite angle 137. <laughs> Gabro. Hornfelser noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded the equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. Well, it is not, probably, because otherwise this DLC would be both. Three. I'm already looking if there's anybody. Celestial body coming. Oh, there it is! Nine. Dude! Oh my god, that is amazing! Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time to lose. Not the sun, you silly bejilly. Let's go! Ooh! Is this where the spooky part is? Can you guys hear the music? It's kind of spooky. What am I doing, noise? I don't know how to drive this thing. This place. So this is an hangar with some sort of UFOs. <gasps> Unknown language. I was like, can you read this even? It looks like something you can read. Eh? Hmm. Okay, so we want to open that door. The problem is like there are three layers. Uh oh! We got it. Okay, here we need this. Okay. Rotate. Whoa! Whoa! What the heck is this? Excuse me? This is like Inception. What? I'm assuming you can guide it with this, right? Yes! <gasps> Amazing! Can you go on the other side? No, you have to follow the current. Yo, look at this place! Look at this place! This mirror is definitely something that uh, 
makes it so that you cannot see it from outside. Unless it's in front of the sun. <gasps> what the hell, dude? Wow! This is amazing! This looks so freaking cool! Please don't kill me, 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 please kill me, please don't 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 <gasps> These are the people. Do, are they owls with antlers? Don't tell me that I turn around and now there's one of these guys. Okay, let me look at this care more carefully. There's like a one, two, fallen two. Okay, there has to be a reason. To the lantern. There has to be. It has to coincide with the amount of lanterns in this one, right? So there are three on those. Let's see, probably you can activate it if you pick them up. What was that? How many lanterns are there? Two, three, eight, seven, sorry. Oh! Oh! Do what? So he was just removing the lantern, okay. No! The, the, the tower is tilting. Well, that is not good. We fell in the water because it was taking too much time. No! But we figured out something. A massive artificial ring would uh, world hidden within some sort of a cloaking field. It does not appear to be Arthian or Nomayan in origin. River Lowlands. A low-lying region near the entrance to the stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. Wow, there's a lot to explore there. Cinder Isles. A pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of steel houses. Ah, okay, so those are different areas. Uh, okay. Is that a teleportation station? Teleport station, maybe? Oh! Wait. Is this the same place? Aha, you see. It's always the one with the with the planet, probably. Oh, oh. Yeah. So these are the guys that you see in the paintings. They look very ugly, but they're very well detailed. Roast marshmallow and those off. Mmm. Mmm. Let's see what happens if we're sleeping when the dam explodes. Let's wait like... <gasps> what? <gasps> okay, let's wait <laughs> this much. Oh, this is a bell, okay. The lights are all off now. Mmm. -hmm. Now this has to have something of importance. Just open. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Why is there a ghost matter here? <gasps> Maybe ghost matter doesn't work underwater? Can you imagine? Or maybe this is not a ghost matter. Oh! I am pretty sure that this is a thing. Yes, exactly it is. Underwater. Pick up artifact. <gasps> you can grab things with this. Huh? Ah, you need to have some sort of uh, energy source. Uh. Is this gonna be like a laser gun or some sort? Flowing around. Hey! Already holding an artifact. Okay, we have these things that we don't know what to do with. Well, we don't know what to do with those. Okay, maybe we can come, up, come back later here. And the sun is exploding. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can figure out something cool before the sun explodes. 
Oh, okay, there's another way. Aya! Aya, aya! Aya! Vitals critical? What? Uh oh. That was silly. Ah, no! That one thing with the beam coming out of it uh, is uh, a docking station for this raft. Uh, so it's just uh, telling you where you can find the raft if you want to go around because you're not supposed to swim in the water. I think. Wow, I am blown away by this. Uh, that was amazing. There is so much to explore. That was so cool. And I cannot wait to play it again. But we have to wait the next month. Nabit. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. It was amazing to play this game again after so long. I cannot wait to continue again on Monday.